Hi, I'm Sean Foster, and I'm here with Brad Vaughn with Monroe Pump Manufacturing, and we're standing here with a water harvesting feature that we call the Brain Box. It's ran off of a controller that we call the Brain Box. Um, for those of you who don't know, a water harvesting feature consists of four components, which is your first one would be your cistern or your holding tank, which could be below ground or above ground, your water source, and then obviously your pump to pump it out of the holding tank, which could be a centrifugal pump or a submersible pump. And then the last component would be your control box, which in this case is the brain box. And right now I'm just going to have Brad, if you, if you could just go ahead and explain what the different levels of this is and each function along with them. Sure. This, is, this represents our cistern, whether it's uh, be below ground or above ground. And uh, the blue pump is a submersible pump to our irrigation system. And uh, there's a valve back in there which represents an alternate source of water besides the, the rainwater, which uh, this represents here running off of our roof. And up here represents our uh, lawn controller starting up with the green light. So the lawn controllers ask for the sprinkler system to turn on and as the sprinkler system's running, the water in the cistern's dropping uh, level because there's no rain adding to it. Uh, so we have uh, two float balls. One float ball is uh, for the alternate water source to turn on when the water level drops um, to a set point. And uh, the other float ball We'll turn the, uh, want the pump off if the water level in the cistern keeps dropping. So pretty soon the uh, first float ball will drop enough to turn alternate water source on, which is represented there. And it will uh, continue to fill the cistern to a, a set point again, usually not full. You don't want it to fill up with you want to have room for your rainwater. Okay, so this, this is basically like your, what's representing your holding tank, I'm understanding. And then this is your rainwater with kind of your gutter effect that's coming off your roof. Is that correct? That's right. Okay, and I see this valve kicked on. Can you explain again, if you didn't already, what the function of that valve and why this came on? That's an alternate water source. It'll, um, it keep, maintains a, a, enough water in the cistern to satisfy the, uh, irrigation or submersible pump. And the, the alternate water source, it could be, is it just rainwater or is there other other situations where your alternate water source is something else than rainwater? Well, sometimes it can be an irrigation water or a pump from an, a, a pond somewhere to fill the cisterns. Some other water besides rainwater to fill the cisterns. So it could be domestic water mm -hmm. to the water out of the pond. Right. Right. Exactly. So, at Monroe, we can, we can build different specialty boxes that fit an application of, of whatever sort that the customer might need. What was the specific reason and design for the brain box? So a customer uh, called in and needed um, a controller to operate a pump for rainwater. And it's uh, one of many controllers that we specialize in, specialty box. Pretty simple, but uh, we can do custom boxes. 